Bottle top Bill and his best friend Corky up on the hill. Let's watch the kids as they play. Playing all day. Hooray! The adventures of Bottle Top Bill and his best friend Corky. Bottle Top. What's today's adventure called, Bill? Today's adventure, Corky, is the Ramshackle House Ride. What would you like to do this morning, Corky? Well, Bill, we could... We could... What's that noise, Bill? I don't know, Corky, but it's coming from over there. What is it, Bill? No idea, Corky. I've never seen anything like it. I think I know. What? It's a go-kart. I've never seen a go-kart before. I wonder whose it is. I can see his feet. And his legs. Hmm, he looks familiar. Who can it be? I think it's... it is! It's Neighbour Ned. Hi, Bill. Hi, Corky. Hello, Ned. Where did you get that go-kart? I made it myself. What do you think? It's very nice, Ned. It has pedals, a light and a horn. It looks fast. It is fast. It's the fastest go-kart ever. Oh, I bet I know a faster one. You do? Where? Our go-kart. We have a go-kart? We sure do, Corky. Would you like a race, Bill? You bet, Ned. Just name the place and we'll be there. Let's meet at Big Drop Hill. Big Drop Hill it is. See you there. Bill, we can't race, Ned. We don't have a go-kart. We will in a jiffy, Corky. If Ned can make a go-kart, so can we. Watch this, Corky. Do you think it'll be as good as Ned's? Even better. And will it be as fast as Ned's? Even faster. Well, Corky, what do you think? It's a beauty, Bill. But why do you want to race Ned? Ned's always showing off, Corky. True. He does show off. So if we beat him in this race, maybe he'll stop showing off. Good idea, Bill. Big Drop Hill's very steep, Bill. It's perfect for racing. Look at Ned go. He sure is fast. Easy peasy. My cart will be much faster. This go-kart's hard work, Bill. Not, not far now, Corky. <sighs> Where have you been? I've been here for ages. You ready? Ready and raring to go, Ned. This looks really steep, Bill. No worries, Corky. I've got a break to stop me if there's trouble. Ha! <laughs> I've got a better break than that. You be the starter, Corky. Will do, Bill. Get ready. Ready. Get set. Go! <laughs> I'm beating you, there. You can't catch me. No, Bill, I'm feeding you! Uh-oh, I don't like the look of this. Whoa! Oh, no! Bill's lost a wheel! See you, Bill! Time for the break! <laughs> oh, no! Now I can't stop at all! There's a big gate ahead! And a great big fence as well! Whoa! Ah! 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 This is going to be terrible. I can't watch. Look out for the Ferris wheel, Ned. And the tent. And the merry-go-round. Bill, where are you going? I don't know. I know. You're going straight for the fun fair. The fun fair? And unless you stop, you're going to crash right into it. I can't stop! Me neither! Can you see where you're heading yet, Bill? It looks like the haunted house ride. Are you sure? I'm positive. And Ned's heading for it too. Try to steer away from it. I'm trying. Try harder. I'm trying harder. 
But my cat doesn't want to turn. Oh, dear. I hope he won't be cross with us. Oh. Where are you now, Bill? We're heading along the railway track, and there's a crazy looking creature up ahead. And a big spider, too. Don't run into them. statue down there and I think we're going to hit it. <gasps> oh. oh no! Look out there! Oh dear. What have they done? Hang on, Bill. I'm coming to get you. I'm all right, Corky. What have you done to my ride? We didn't mean to break it, sir. We're really sorry, honestly. All the children have been waiting for a ride, and now it's broken. Oh, dear. I hope we haven't upset the children's fun. I think you have, Bill. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, Double D! What can we do about the children? I don't know, Corky. This wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been such a show-off, Ned. Me? A show-off? That's right. And you were a show-off too, Bill. Me? A show-off? Yes. You wanted to show Ned you could make a faster go-kart. Well, yes, oh, I suppose you're right. But what should we do? Hello, Bill. Hello, Corky. Who's that? Don't you recognise his voice? Uh, I think so. It's Bob. So it is. What are you doing here, Bob? I came to see what the problem is. All the kids want to go on a haunted house ride, but they can't because it's been broken. That is a problem, isn't it? We don't know what to do, Bob. Well, perhaps I can help. How? Wow. Let's all go to my house and I'll show you. But, Bob, your house is such a long way away. No, it's not. It's just up near the hills there. We can walk there in no time. Are you sure? I'm positive. Come on, we'll be there in a flash. But what's the point of going to your house, Bob? You do want a haunted house ride, don't you? Yes. And my house does look like a haunted house, doesn't it? Yes. So let's build our own ride there. That's a great idea, Bob. Then all the children will be happy. This looks like a great ride, Bob. Thank you. There's only one problem. What's that? We don't have any scary creatures around. You're right. What should we do? I think it's time to ask our friends for some help, Corky. Spot on, Bill. I'll send them all an email. But will they come? You bet. They'll love this. There. They'll be here in an instant. Yay! All right. Jump in, kids. Now, get ready for the ride of your life. <laughs> Yay! What friends have you got to help you? Well... First, there's the great wild woolly. I can't see him. You just wait. He'll surprise you with his really scary face. <laughs> that was scary. Who else is here? Rumble the dragon. A dragon? Where? Watch that fireplace, Bob. This is exciting. It'll be a lot more exciting when Rumble appears. You bet! <laughs> this is great! All your friends are helping, even Maisie the cow. Maisie the cow? I can't see Maisie. There she is. Is it really her? You bet. Maisie's one of our best ghosts ever. Do you think she'll be really scary? You just watch. I thought ghosts were 
supposed to say boo, not moo. Don't worry, Ned. The children like it, and that's the main thing. Now what's happening? Now we get to the best bit of all. It's the living skeletons. Living skeletons? How spooky is that? <laughs> Junkasaur friends. Junkasaur? Jojo Junkasaur? Mrs. Junkasaur? And Mr. Junkasaur? You have great scary friends! Well, everyone, did you like our haunted house ride? Yeah! 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 Thank you so much, Corky. You too, Bill. We could only do it because all our friends helped us. And mostly because Bob loaned us his house. Oh, thank you so much, Bob. No problem. I love haunted house rides. Please, can we keep it here? It'll be a pleasure. I'm glad that's ended well. Me too. It hasn't ended yet. We've got a fun fair to clean up. <laughs> Gee, we sure made a big mess. What about our go-karts? They're wrecked! Looks like there'll be no more go-kart races, Ned. What a pity! And it looks like there'll be no more showing off either. What do you mean? All this happened because Ned wanted to show off in his cart and then you wanted to show off in your cart. Yep, that's true. So from now on, we'll have a new rule. No showing off. <laughs> when you're right, Corky, you're right. Swim, Corky. Right, let's head for the beach. We'll need something to carry all this stuff, Bill. Leave it to me, Corky. What's this? It's a special beach buggy. Perfect for taking our things to the beach. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> <laughs> Park the buggy, Bill. At the car park, of course. I bet there'll be heaps of people at the beach today. Why is that, Corky? Because it's so hot. The beach is always crowded when it's hot. You're right there, Corky. <laughs> Look at this, Bill. There's no one else here. I wonder why that is. It's very strange, don't you think? Maybe, but it does mean we'll have the whole beach to ourselves. Yeah. Let's get our things. I can't wait to build a sandcastle, Corky. And I can't wait to have a swim. So let's get going. This will be fun. You bet. Look at that beach, Corky. Isn't it beautiful? And we've got lots of sand to build our sandcastle. We might even build two sandcastles, Corky. Really big ones. Oh, no. What's happening to the beach? I've never seen anything like this before. What's all that green gooey stuff, Corky? Seaweed, Bill. The whole beach is covered in seaweed. There's no space left for us. And nowhere to build a sandcastle. What do we do now, Corky? I suppose we'll have to go back home. Help! Help! Did you hear that, Corky? It came from out there. Where? Over there, by that big rock. It sounds like someone's in trouble. Who could it be? And what are they doing out there in the sea? Help me, please. Someone is in trouble, Bill. This calls for action, Corky, and fast. What are we making, Bill? A good, strong raft. That'll get us out there. Good idea, Bill. Let's go, Corky. We've got a rescue to perform. Help. Oh, please help me. We're coming. Hang on. You can cling to our raft. I can't. I'm tangled in the seaweed. Don't worry. Grab hold of my hand. One, two, three. Oh. Oh. 
Thank you so much. Glad to help you, young girl. Bill, look! Paint me pink, Corky. She's not a girl. She's a mermaid. Is something wrong? Well, we've never met a mermaid before. Well, you have now. I'm Molly. Hello, Molly. My name's Bill. And I'm Corky. <laughs> Molly, what's wrong? I've lost my best friend, Swish. Swish? A seahorse. He's run away and I can't find him anywhere. That's terrible. I have to look for him. He's in trouble with King Neptune. Who's King Neptune? Who cares? We have to help Molly. How, Bill? We can't stay underwater. Leave it to me, Corky. <laughs> this will be the perfect way to travel under the sea. I bet I know. You tell us, Corky. It's a submarine. Spot on, Corky. In we go. Right, Molly. Lead the way. Follow that mermaid, Corky. Let's find that seahorse. <laughs> Where are we going, Bill? Down to the bottom of the sea, Corky. Great! I love it down there. There's so much to see. We have to be careful not to run into the sea plants. Don't worry. We'll be very careful. We also have to be careful not to scare any of the fish. We'll be super careful about that too. That's good. The fish are our friends and we don't want to upset them. This way, Bill and Corky. We're right behind you, Molly. How will we find Swish, Bill? Good question. Hey, Molly, the ocean's very big. How do we know where Swish might be? We'll ask Mrs Octopus. She knows everything. Mrs Octopus gets very grumpy sometimes. I hope she's in a nice mood today. She looks like she's asleep. We'd better wake her very quietly. Right. I wonder how we can do it. Leave it to me, Corky. That should do it. Bill, what have you done? Whoops. We're sorry, Mrs Octopus. We're looking for Swish. Have you seen him? Oh, dear. She says we were very rude to wake her and she's not going to tell us. Please, Mrs Octopus. What did she say, Molly? She said Swish might be in the Coral Canyon. Great. Let's go. I've never been to the Coral Canyon, Bill. Me neither, Corky. It looks very big. And very spooky. Why would Swish come to a place like this? I don't know, Corky. What's that up ahead? It looks like some sort of cave. A spooky cave. I think Swish might be in here. Are you sure? Positive. If only we could see inside. We can fix that, Molly. Can you see him, Molly? Oh, I can't see him anywhere. Wait a minute. I can see something. You're right, Corky. I can see it too. Does it look like a seahorse, Bill? I think it does, Corky. It is. It is a seahorse. Swish, don't hide. It's me, Molly. Don't be afraid. These are my friends, Bill and Corky. Hello, Swish. Pleased to meet you. Come on, Swish. We're going to take you home. He seems very scared. What's the matter with him, Molly? His job is to pull King Neptune's new carriage. But the carriage is too big and heavy. So Swish ran away? Yes, the king is very cross. Hmm. Do you have an idea, Bill? I think I do. Swish, if we can help you pull the king's carriage, will you go back home? <coughs> right then. Take us to your home, Molly. Wow! What's this place, Bill? It looks like a palace of some sort. Is this where you live, Molly? Yes. We all live in King Neptune's castle. Wow! It must be great to live in a castle. It is. Except when the king gets cross, he has a very bad temper. Right, everyone. Stop here for a minute. Why, Bill? Time to put on our diving gear, Corky. Right. What are you doing? We're going to make the king a new carriage. Out we go, Corky. How are 
are you going to make a new carriage? Watch. Ready, Corky? Ready, Bill. Go, Corky! Now for some right rule decorations. That looks good, Molly. How does that look? That looks wonderful. Right, Swish. In you get. Ready to move, Swish? <laughs> okay, Molly. Let's show King Neptune his new carriage. How long has King Neptune been the king? As long as anyone can remember. How big is his kingdom? As big as all the oceans in the world. Wow, that's big. I hope the king will be pleased to see us. Where's my carriage? And where's that seahorse? What's the point of being a king if you can't ride in a carriage? Other kings have carriages. Why can't I? Well, can't anyone answer my question? They're all useless. Useless. I can answer. Good afternoon, Your Highness. Molly, what are you doing here? I thought I told you to find Swish. I found him, Your Highness, with the help of my new friends here. Who are you? I'm Bill, your kingship. And I'm Corky. They found Swish and a magnificent new carriage for you. A carriage? For me? Swish, bring in the royal carriage. Well, Your Highness, what do you think? It's wonderful. Can I have a ride? Too right. It's all yours, Sir King. To go wherever you want. Right, Swish. Let's go for a royal ride. <laughs> Do you think he'll like it? We'll soon find out. Wonderful. Marvellous. I think he likes it, Molly. And I think he likes Swish, too. <laughs> well, King Neptune, do you like your new carriage? Like it? I love it. It's the best royal carriage ever. And Swish, you're the best driver ever. <laughs> it was Bill and Corky who made the carriage, Your Highness. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Corky. You're welcome. Will you stay for tea? Thanks, but we're going back to the beach to build our sandcastle. We can't, Corky. The beach is covered in seaweed, remember? Seaweed? We'll fix that problem. Fetch Wally the whale. Why does the king want a whale, Bill? No idea, Corky. I hope he's a friendly whale. He sure is a big whale. Right then, are you ready? Just about. Ready when you are. Right, Wally. Lunch time. <laughs> is as clean as a whistle. And we can build our sandcastle. Bye, Bill. Bye, Corky. Goodbye. Thanks for your help. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Well, Bill, we've got to build our sandcastle at last. We sure have, Corky. And we got to meet a real king. We sure did that too. I think this has been one of our best days at the beach ever. <laughs> when you're right, Corky, you're right. Bottle top Bill and his best friend Corky up on the hill. Let's watch them as they play. Is a bottle top bill and his best friend Corky. Bottle top bill. What's today's adventure, Bill? Today's adventure's called Rumbles Grumbles. It's a lovely sunny day, Bill. Just perfect for a trip to the beach. But we've got a job to do today. What job's that? We have to fix the shed, Bill. Are you sure we have to fix the shed, Corky? Positive. But what's wrong with it? There's a hole in the roof, see? We can't repair the shed roof, Corky. Why not, Bill? Because Mrs Whistlehead's cat's asleep on it. She's having a lovely rest. You're right, Bill. We wouldn't want to disturb the cat, would we? What else needs doing, Corky? We need to clean the gutters out. 
We can't clean the gutters out, Corky. Why not, Bill? Because Mrs Blackbird's making a nest in there. She needs a nest so she can lay her eggs. You're right, Bill. We wouldn't want to disturb Mrs Blackbird, would we? What else needs doing, Corky? That's it, Bill. Just thinking about all that hard work's made me tired, Corky. I think we deserve a break. I think you're right. It would be a shame to waste all this beautiful sunshine. Struth, Corky. Where's the sun gone? It's behind that big black cloud. See? Oh, no. Don't tell me it's going to rain. It doesn't look like a rain cloud, Bill. It smells like smoke, Corky. Smoke? That means there must be a fire somewhere. A fire? We have to find it and put it out, Bill. I'm with you, Corky. Let's get the plane. We'll need some water buckets too. Good idea. There. The plane will help us find the fire really quickly. It sure will. Let's go, Bill. Right, Corky. Let's find that fire. We'll follow those smoky clouds, Corky. They'll lead us to the fire. <coughs> Bill, I can't see anything. Are you still there? <coughs> I'm still here, Corky. Where are we? We must be inside the cloud. How are we going to get out? Hold on tight, Corky. That's better. Now I can see again. Oh, and I can breathe again. Crikey! What was that, Corky? It sounded like a big sneeze, Bill. It sounds like someone's got a really bad cold, Bill. A really big bad cold, Corky. I think that whoever has the cold is down in that forest, Bill. Then we'd better go down there and find them, Corky. They must be very big because those sneezes were the biggest sneezes I ever heard. Over there, Bill, it's Rumble the Dragon. That explains all those smoke clouds. Dragons make fire when they sneeze. But what's Rumble doing here? He lives in Fairyland. We'd better ask him and find out. Oh, hello, Bill. Hello, Corky. Am I glad to see you? What's the matter, Rumble? I can't stop. Oh, I can't stop. Oh. Run for it, Corky! Uh, uh. Well, Rumble, that's some sneeze you have. I know, and I can't stop sneezing. You poor thing. But we'll have to help you stop, Rumble. Otherwise, you'll burn up the whole forest. I'm sorry. I can't help it. We dragons always make fiery sneezes. Why didn't you use some fairy dust in Fairyland to cure your sneezing, Rumble? Fairy dust doesn't cure dragon sneezes. Wow, they must be really bad sneezes then. That's why I left Fairyland to come and see you. I thought you might be able to help. We'll do our best, Rumble. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Look out again, Corky! Uh, It sounds like you've got a really bad cold, Rumble. So we'll get you home and make you nice and warm. But I'm all out of steam. I can't fly. No problem, Rumble. We'll tow you with our plane. <laughs> Ready, Bill? Ready, Corky. I think Rumble's too heavy for our plane to lift. Bill? We'll make it, Corky. <laughs> okay, Corky, we're on our way. Oh! We don't have a room big enough for Rumble, Bill. We'll have to use the shed, Corky. Good idea, Bill. We'll be there in a second, Rumble. Be careful of the animals. And mind the plants too. Get comfy in the shed, Rumble. <laughs> 
and we'll tuck you in. It's nice and cosy inside the shed. Just perfect to lie down and rest. You can use our softest pillows. They'll make your head feel better. This looks perfect. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, Corky. Now we've got to find a way to stop your sneezing, Rumble. Rumble needs some medicine, Bill. And I know who has the perfect medicine. Then let's get it, Bill. And quick. We'll be back in a flash, Rumble. But try not to disturb Mrs Whistlehead's cat. Or Mrs Blackbird. I'll do my best. This looks like our tricycle, Bill. It is, Corky. We'll need it to ride over to Cedric the Scientists. Is that where we'll get the medicine for Rumble? Spot on, Corky. Right, Bill. Let's get going. Uh, uh, Sorry, everyone. I hope Cedric's at home today. Cedric's always at home. His house is so fantastic he never wants to leave it. Are you sure Cedric the scientist can help Rumble? You bet. If anyone can make medicine to cure a dragon's cold, Cedric the scientist is the one to do it. Now, we just have to find our way down to Cedric's laboratory. I like Cedric's laboratory. It has all sorts of interesting things. It sure does, Corky. Cedric's laboratory is just about the most interesting place around. And I like Cedric too. Although, he's a bit strange sometimes. He might be strange, Corky, but he's very clever. Hello, Cedric. Hello, Bill. Hello, Corky. I'll be with you in a moment. No problem. That looks like a very important experiment, Cedric. It's not an experiment at all. It isn't? No, it's my morning cup of tea. I love tea. <laughs> That's better. Now, how can I help you? Our friend Rumble the Dragon has a very bad cold. And we were hoping that you could make him a special medicine. You've come to the right place. I'm very proud of my dragon medicine. Where is it? Watch. <laughs> and now for the final ingredient. I hope it works. <laughs> There you are, Bill. A spoonful of my special dragon medicine. Will this be enough to cure Rumble's cold? Yes, it's very strong. But you must be careful not to spill any. You can count on us. We'll be extra careful, won't we, Corky? We sure will, Bill. Thanks, Cedric. Anytime. Lovely to see you both. Bye. Is the medicine staying in the spoon, Bill? It sure is, Corky. We'll have it over to Rumble in no time. Oh, no! What's the matter? There's some very rough road coming up. And we can't avoid it. Hang on, Bill. I am, Corky. <laughs> We're over the bumps, Bill. That's better, Corky. We've got a nice smooth ride ahead of us now. And we're nearly home, Bill. Look. Watch out. Ah! Oh, no, the spoon's flown out of my hand. Maybe Rumble can catch it. Rumble! Rumble! Oh, I don't like the taste of that, I don't. Is the medicine working, Rumble? How do you feel? I feel funny. Uh, uh. Here comes the sneeze, Bill. Uh, and it's going to be a big one. Meow. Look out, everybody. Uh, uh. Achoo! That was some sneeze. Oh. Do you know what? I think that medicine's worked. Are you sure, Rumble? I feel much better, I do. You did it, Bill. You've cured Rumble of his cold. We did it, Corky. And Cedric the Scientist. Thank you for helping me, Bill and Corky. I feel my old self again. You little beauty. Now we can all go to the beach. Except... Except what, Bill? All this racing about has made me feel hungry. Me too. So we have to choose, Corky. Do we go to the beach or do we cook our lunch? Gee, Bill, that's a tough choice. And we still haven't fixed the hole in the roof of the shed. Oh, dear. Don't worry. I can help fix that. Beauty. That's fixed it perfectly. Thanks, Rumble. And look, Bill, Mrs Whistlehead's cat's come back. So she has. And Mrs Blackbird's back too. Great. Now we have...
have to decide between lunch or the beach. We can have both. We can. I love the beach. I'm so glad we decided to come here. Me too, Corky. But how will Rumble cook lunch down here? I don't know, Bill. Right then. Who's ready for lunch? I am, Rumble. Me too. Do you like potatoes? You bet. But how will you cook them, Rumble? Watch. Try this, Bill. Mm, delicious. You know something, Bill? I think this is going to be one of the best lunches we've ever had. <laughs> well, you're right, Corky. You're right. <laughs>